Now let's unbox this Huion H420. Um, as you can see, this packaging is pretty slick. It's very sturdy. Um, and when you open it up, you have your actual tablet. Look how tiny it is. Um, I will be size referencing it later. You have your pen. You have your replacement nibs and your nib holder ring thingy. And then, when you open this up, you have the cable that connects it to your computer. The dongle, I think it is. And you have your installation CD and your user's guide. Um, and that's what comes in this package here. So I'm just going to set the dongle and the user's guide to one side and let's open up this pen here. It's a pretty nice looking pen. Let's see you unscrew it here to open your battery chamber. Now, which end? There's the plus. Okay. Um, you put your plus end of the battery here and your negative end of the battery goes in here. So, here we have another battery and I will just slide my negative end into here and put the positive end here and screw it back together. Um, the plastic feels a little cheaper than what I'm used to and to turn the pen on or off you click it. Um, Unlike the other pen, this doesn't have an auto timeout thing to save battery, so you have to turn it on and off. And I will be right back once I've installed the driver, and I know they offer the download for this on their website. All right, I have the tap. I have the driver downloading. I will install it later. And I realized I forgot to do the size comparison. Here's the tablet. And. Um, here is our Crocodile Dundee for reference. It's a pretty small tablet. This is just a regular DVD case size. See? It would fit very neatly in that. Um, I will more thoroughly review it later after I've installed the driver. And um, if you want to compare it to my old tablet, here is my old tablet. But, the active area on my old tablet is only this big. You can't really see it on the camera. But, you'll notice that this thing's active area fits into about the same size as my other tablet's active area. It's just a lot smaller. I expect it to be more portable, but I will review that aspect of it later. And... That's about all I have for this camera setup, so I'm going to get set up to record my hand while I'm drawing. So here I am. I have it on its default settings. Um, okay, the lower side button here, um, that sets it to eraser, and this side button selects the color. Um, so I'm just going to go to full screen here, and um, what are we going to draw? Hmm. Um, I turned my Wi-Fi off so that I can draw uninterrupted by assorted social media notifications. Um, okay, so that just uh, switched the color, never mind. Um, wow. Uh, that keeps tracking it for a long time. That is some serious pressure sensitivity. 
Um, okay, it lags just a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if I can't fix something in the driver in a little bit. I just want to see what this will do. Looks like we've got a face going on. And um, I'm going to give him a curly mustache, because why not? Um, and then we'll do some eye lines. And we'll give him some nice round eyes. Um, Not really, but, uh, okay, I'm gonna undo that. Alright, and then we'll give him a nose here. Um, and let's refine this fine mustache. Yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can't fix this in the driver a little bit. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm gonna turn the pressure sensitivity down and, uh, let's see. Keyboard key. I will make this. The mouse middle button for scrolling, and this will be the mouse right button. Okay, so let's see. Advanced settings. Um, ooh, K1 is Command Z, so if I hit that, I can undo. This is keyboard key E, and keyboard key B. I will set my um, commands later. Um, soft key enable. Screen ratio. Oh! That's nice. Um, Alright, I will try using it with this setting here. Um, now let's go back to not fire alpaca. I will just close this and go back to Medibang Paint. Huh, still lags a little. We'll give him some nice curly hair here. You know, this is the most, uh, oh, sorry, kicked my camera there. This is the most abstract and creative my sketches have looked in a really long time. Um, so maybe this will free me up a little bit. Let's see. Um, let's see if the lag changes with the pen. Huh. I should probably set the bottom button to redo. Um, but I need to, um, but I need to work on that keyboard shortcut. Um, let's see. Um, let's just... Okay, that's really thin. And then we'll bulk up my lines here just a little bit. Um, let's 
see. Um, yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. Maybe I need to restart my computer or something. Probably something. Um, but I like the variation in line width it's giving me. Um, let's see what happens if I zoom in a whole lot. Um, now it could just be that I'm recording because I haven't tried drawing when I'm not recording. So I will... Um, So I will make another drawing when I'm not recording, and then I will come back and let you know how that worked.